the people what's going on dome shorts man look just scrolling through the twitter world earlier and i was just thinking like you know big and Pac will always be uh held in high regard in hip-hop lore you know what i'm saying but it's okay if you don't think uh big or Pac is like number one all time it's actually okay if you don't think they're a top five all time you know what i'm saying like you know these guys both died in the 90s I was in college when both of them died, man. One died in uh, 1996, one died in 1997. And, you know, when Pac died, he was probably the most famous rapper at that time because, you know, the prison sentence, death row, the drama with Bad Boy, he got hit him up. He got all eyes on me. He was a monster. Um, leading on up to Machiavelli, we knew Machiavelli was coming. You know what I'm saying? So that summer, of 96, Pac was probably the biggest rapper in the world. You know, Nas was the biggest in New York, but Pac was probably the biggest overall still because All Eyes of Me came out in the spring. You know what I'm saying? So, he, you know, he was just on a tear at the time. So he probably died the most popular rapper at that time and at 25 years old. So it was kind of like the uh, the James Dean factor, you know what I'm saying? Someone passing away early, Marilyn Monroe, you know what I'm saying? The 30s, whatever. It's, 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 it's pop culture, you know what I'm saying? And it's fine, it's unfortunately. So then you fast forward to 1997, you could surmise that uh, had Big live, he was going to rule 97. Now, he ruled 95 to me. I mean, I did a whole post about that before on Twitter about Biggie, you know, ready to die, dropped in uh, like November, December 94. So 95 was when he really popped off, like on the grand scale with Junior Mafia and, and everyone. It, just, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? He was in the clubs, in the streets, whatever. But, you know, you fast forward to 96, you had the Fugees, you had Nas, you had you know, we already talked about hip hop. Uh, 96, excuse me. Um, and 96 is easily one of the deepest years in hip hop history. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the same time, pop was still raining. You know what I'm saying? And Big had to cool down a little bit, working on life after death, no doubt. You know that. You know what I'm saying? So in 97, you know, he passed away in like March, but he was gonna rule that year. You know what I'm saying? Big was and Big died as probably the, the most popular rapper. Of um. So anyway, um, when I think about fast forwarding all these years, you know, they get larger and larger as the years go on, and I understand that because both of them died at 24, 25 years old. You know, so again. There is, you know, a lot of praise happens when people pass away, especially when they're young. But don't get me wrong. I'm not one of these people sitting back saying, oh, man, Big and Pop weren't that great when they were alive. They were great. You know what I'm saying? And at one point, I always said Tupac was the most passionate and probably the most felt MC maybe ever. And I think he was leaning towards that way even before he passed away. People were really connected with Tupac. And this is the reason why when he passed, people didn't even really think he died. That's how, that's how much people loved him. And with Biggie, even though people know that now I consider Nas right there with Rakim or the GOAT now, I always say Biggie was probably pound for pound, at least from life after death, he's probably the most complete rapper that I've ever seen. You know, you know, he was he was almost a flawless MC. You know what I'm saying? There's a few, you know what I'm saying? But I would say he, you know, Life After Death, what he did and with that album was just incredible. Um, so it coming out after him him passing away, people looked at him like he had just taken over. He was about to take over with that album. So you got Pac and Big both, you know, releasing huge albums and huge singles and, and being large in the streets and the clubs in 96 and 97, and they both dying. Um, over the years, that connection with these guys, the passion for these guys' music, it grew. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it wrong. It was, it was nice then, but it grew. You know what I'm saying? And people consider, so a lot of people consider Tupac to go. You know what I'm saying? Now, I would ask any true Pac fan, especially the ones who are close to my age or my age or my era, I'm 48 years old, did you think in 1996, Tupac was the uh, most, well, not the most popular, was the greatest MC of all time before he passed away? Did you think Tupac was the greatest before he passed away? In 97, did you think Biggie was the greatest MC before he passed away? Some people thought Biggie was the king of New York in, in, when he died. And some people thought he was the best. Same, same way I just said about Pop at that time. But how long do you get to hold on to that? 
how long do you get to keep continue continue being the best? You know what I'm saying? Like Bill Russell was the best at one time, then you know uh Will Chamberlain, then you know you got Kareem, and then you got you know Shaq and whoever. Do you get to stay the best forever? You know what I'm saying? Like is Jordan still the greatest? Well, you know, I still think Jordan the greatest, but LeBron James is close, close. Kobe was one of the closest ones to he, he mimicked Mike almost, you know what I'm saying? Uh so people do catch up to the grace, but do you feel like anyone caught up to Biggie and Pop? Do you feel like Biggie is still the greatest rapper out of New York? Do you feel like Jay-Z passed him or Nas passed him or any of the or or the big ever passed the legends of the 80s? Did he, did he pass Rock him and Karis one in your uh opinion? Did he pass Coogee Rap? You know, I, I don't know. Did he pass LL on, on the all-time list to you back then, even before he passed away? Did you feel like he was the greatest? Um now honestly. During my college years, hip hop head, you know, we love Tupac. Obviously, Me Against the World came out when I was still in, when I was in college, and I was like, man, Pop one of the best out right now. I thought he was great. I thought he was heartfelt. You know what I'm saying? And of course, All Eyes on Me was a monster on Death Row release, and then you know, of course, you know, all the battles and the disses. But I don't know if I ever quite thought he was the greatest rapper you know, of all time. I thought he was the most felt, probably the most passionate. Not sure if I ever thought he was the the, the best. Uh, Biggie, I thought Biggie was at one point, I thought he ruled 1995, but I did think that, you know what I'm saying? Now, there's tweaks of mine back 10 years ago where I said even in 1996, I thought Nas was better than Tupac and Biggie. I said this 10 years ago on Twitter. You can fact check me, you can pull it up. And on videos over the years, I, I always said that, but in writing, I said I thought Nas was better than Biggie and Pac in, in, in 1996. I thought in 1996, Tupac was the best, I mean, not Tupac, Nas was the best rapper in 1996 in terms of pound for pound. You know, I think Big and Pop both did things better than him, but I thought it was better. I thought that, you look at Jay-Z's whole career, some people will say, man, as great as Biggie is, can I keep Biggie over Jay-Z after Jay-Z has dropped, you know, 10, 15, 20 albums or however many albums and collab albums he has when he was right there rhyming with Biggie on I Love the Dough, on uh, Young G's, on Brooklyn's Finest, you know what I'm saying? People debated who's the best. There's been so many stories about the way Jay and Big looked at each other as MCs uh, while Biggie was alive. So can we say that Biggie died in 97 and Jay-Z is still releasing after 1997, you know, volume one, volume two, volume three, Dynasty, The Blueprint, The Black Album, American Gangster, all of these things that he's done in hip hop. You know, I can understand why some people have him over Big. Just, I mean, off just time and and work along, you know, I can see why people have Jay-Z over Biggie. I can see why people have Jay-Z over, over Tupac. You know what I'm saying? And of course, you know, you got some other legends. Some people got considered AL the gold and other people, but I'm just saying it's okay if you don't think Big or Pac are still the greatest rappers of all time. I still have them both in my top 10. I got Big at like number four, I believe. But I'm not saying he couldn't have been number one. I'm not saying Pac couldn't have been number one. But I still think that you got people like Jay-Z, Nas, and other Karis, and others who, who have 20 albums, man. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Like, how can we still feel like, okay, if I don't say Pac is the best or Big is the best, I'm disrespecting them. These young guys, unfortunately, died in the 90s. And there's been so much work with MC since then. You know what I'm saying? So do I think it shows how great they are, the fact that they're still considered this high on anyone's list? That, that does show. But it also shows an affinity as well because when you pass away early you're going to be talked about for a long time think about that 27 club with like Jimi hendrix and, and you know and all of them you know what i'm saying like a lot of people have passed away uh, at 27 years old you know or, or anyone who passed away at a young young age in any era era or any uh area of entertainment you know they they they're they're praised for a long time i mean even with big air for example it was a great MC, but still underground. And all of a sudden, he passed away. And as he his legend grew on the internet, he becomes a goat MC. I'm not saying he didn't have goat talent, because he did. But I'm just saying it was elevated some when he passed. You know, and it, and it's unfortunate that these guys passed so early, man. But what do you think about the whole Big and Park thing? Like, where do you rank Big and Park now in 2023? You know what I'm saying? Do both of them still hold a uh, number one or two spot to you? Are they both still in the top top five, top ten to you? Have have either one of them fallen out of 
a top five or a top ten just because of time and you elevated someone else who has been putting in uh, work over the years. I'm just kind of curious to know that, man, because people think that it's a disrespect when if you move them down the list on. But what happens in the next five, ten years? What happens when another pro uh, prodigy type MC come up? You, you got a person like Kendrick, for example. And I know I'm not ranking Kendrick over Pac and Big. I'm just saying, what if Kendrick was to drop two or three more amazing classic albums? Would you could you possibly move him past Pac or Big? Some people would be like, hell no, I'll never move uh, Kend Kendrick Ball over Pac or Big or any new MC over Pac or Big. But at some point, just with time and life more and more MCs are going to put work in. Or do you think hip-hop is, is, is stale now? Do you feel like this is the best we get right now and every now and then a dope MC will drop a project or two, but because of the internet, because artist development is not the same anymore, do you feel like hip-hop has, has plateaued when it comes to MCs? You know what I'm saying? And, and this is the best we're going to get for the next you know, generation or not? I, I don't know. So if that's the case, then some people will say, yeah, well, Big Orpok's still the best, or Big Orpok still hold their positions because there hasn't been any, any you know, super MCs to have dropped in the last what? Has there been a super MC drop in the last 20 years? We're in 2023 or in the last 25 years. You know what I'm saying? I think Kendrick Lamar is a super MC. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did a, um, a, the last episode was about Kendrick Lamar and talking about his discography and his, his range of songs. I mean, or if it's not him, is there anyone else in the last 20, 25 years post Big and Park that you will say, you know what? I might put them above them on the all-time list. Would you put DMX above Pac and Big? Was DMX, he was special? Was he a super MC to you where you could say, you know what, I would, I would potentially put him above them? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. These are just some thoughts, man. Let me know what you think, man. Dome Short, we out.